Hi everyone! So it's about three in the afternoon. Um, if anyone had time to watch my other video, you know I started at 6 30 this morning and I actually started on this room at uh, for an hour and a half last night. Then I went to bed um, had a little trouble falling asleep because I was so excited. I probably should have just stayed up all night and did this, but I have my son coming tonight and I wanted to visit with him and not be tired. Plus, I just wanted, you know, a fresh mind. I had a lot of decisions to make in here. I had not mapped out exactly how I was going to use this room, at least temporarily going forward. And so a lot of while I was cleaning and sweeping, um, under things, I was also trying to make decisions. So, let me walk you through. Um, this is my garage. So you come into my house through there. That's all unlisted inventory that's going to probably, some of it's going to come back in here. And I'll uh, talk about that. But that room normally is spotless, believe it or not. Um, anyway, so this is the fridge. This is the only personal item, if you even want to call it that, in this room. Um, I need to think about that. I don't deduct even half of my basement because we do have a bedroom in there. So I am very... Uh, well, more than fair with the IRS, I could um, deduct a lot more of the rooms if I just took out one little thing like this fridge, um, because technically it could be considered a personal item. So I'm very careful about the square footage that I deduct. Um, but anybody who comes in here and, and thinks that this is all my personal possessions and not a business would be pretty ridiculous anyway. So uh, I think it's pretty obvious to the IRS that this is a is a home office. <laughs> um so what I did was um, I condensed my Ikea bags, and that was the one brilliant thing, at least temporarily, that I did. Because you can see here I had five Ikea bags for just what is in that one Ikea bag. And at first I was just going to keep the little bit that was in each one and go ahead and throw them back up on shelves. And then I thought, you know, I've got probably 25 to 30 extra Ikea bags that only have five to ten items in it. So when something sells out of this bag, um, out of, you know, Ikea bag number 48, I'm going to have to look through 25 items rather than before I would have only had to look through about maybe 10 or 12, even if the bag was full. So when I go to ship, it's not going to be as fun. That one is really overstuffed and overflowing. So it'll take me just a, an extra second, but it gives me so much more freed up space in here. Um, I have two more weeks before I go full time. So I have six more night shifts. Um, I work tomorrow night and Sunday night. And that'll be my last days in September. Then I have four days the first week and a half in, um, well, the first seven days in October. And then I am um, done with my nursing career. So um, even before that, like next week, I have four, four full days off, I think, before I do any more nursing days. And in four days... I can literally add, you know, 200 items to my inventory. And Virginia is also working really hard right now. And she has um, at least 40, 50 items I gave her. So when all that comes in, um, I'm going to need space to put it. So I gave the John Deere filters um, their own area. So I'm going to move this unlisted plus size underwear. I'm going to move that somewhere because it's unlisted. And I left this fairly clean and open because I know how many filters I have in the back bedroom. And once those are listed, this is going to be very, very cluttered. I do not have enough shelf space for as many filters as I have. I think I have maybe 200 more filters, but this will contain most of it. It might come out of the shelving area a little bit, but it's not going to be that bad. Um, then I have office stuff in here. I have like my, um, where is it here? I have my machine down here that makes my air bubbles. And um, then I've got the extras up here. Um, I try to get free packing whenever possible, but then there are the bags for the air bubble machine. It's one of the best things I bought, especially now that I'm doing a lot more hard goods. Um, I, I think it cost me 15 cents per air pocket thing, but when you really need them, you need them. And um, the machine lasts forever. I've had that for probably four or five years already. So all of the inventory in this room right now, every single box except for that one box there and this one box here so is listed. It is all my listed inventory. So on eBay, I show about 1,540 listings with duplicates. So like I have a lot of plus size underwear up there. And so I have maybe 20 on that 
that one listing. So I do have some items that are duplicates in here. And I also know for a fact from going through every item one at a time, as I'm getting time to do that, that I have a lot of items that were listed that for whatever reason have dropped off. So I estimate that I have probably 1,800 to 2,000 items in this room right now. And my part-time goal, not my full-time, but my part-time goal is to go through and, you know, make myself lists of what I would buy again, what I wouldn't buy again, and basically try to look at every item and figure out why is this still here. Um, some items, uh, are going on two years old. Very few of them. I probably have maybe, I would say five to 10% at the very, very most of my inventory is over two years old. Most of it um, is less than a year old. Um, I've done this much listing with, with help. I, I do have Virginia who helps me very, very part-time and Emily was still working for me a good part of the year um, last year. Um, but most of this is just how much I normally list in a, in any given year. So um, all of these things need redone here. That Santa, um, he's listed. He has not sold. I need to double check and figure out why he's very popular, especially with Christmas coming up. But I do need to pack him out the way that he's going to ship. And then I do need to put FedEx as an option. And that is one thing I know, like on this item, this is a pretty rare print by um what was his first name not richard anyway somebody marble it's kind of a rare print and um if i were to ship that by priority mail the buyer would have to pay you know 50 60 bucks because of the the cubic footage now that i have fedex available i measure it down to a science you can see i overestimate by an inch on each side and then when I send those by FedEx, um, so far I have never gotten charges back on not doing the proper thing. And there is a, a business in town, um, shout out to the lumber company in Saratoga, that lets us bring our FedEx in. I try not to abuse it, um, but we do buy a lot of stuff there, and our church definitely does buy a lot of building materials there. So it's fine, and, and they're fine with me bringing in uh, my FedEx. I do need to bake them some cookies or something for doing that. Um, so I'm very happy. I'm embarrassed to say this did take me 10 hours and I didn't even edit anything. You know, when you're editing and putting things back up, that makes sense that it would take hours and hours. But this is just reorganizing, just kind of condensing everything so that I can even make this a workable thing. Um, I did not put the shoes up. I obviously have a lot of empty space and I could have filled in with the shoes to get those up off the floor. But this is my starting point as I've already, you know, gone through. I don't want to repeat the same information, but this is where I'm starting. I'm going through every single pair of shoes that I have in stock, um, which I don't know how many are there. What do you think? Maybe 50 because it ends right there. That's all my shoes in the, in those boxes on the top and then down here. So maybe 50, 60 pairs of shoes at the most. Um, and I'm cross-posting them all, editing them, re-looking them up. And in rare cases, if the photos were bad for whatever reason, if I have had them two years, that's possible. Maybe the, the photos weren't as good. But anyway, so all those shoes will easily fit on this one shelf once I unbox them and figure out why they haven't sold. So I didn't really um, bother to clean up that corner, even though um, I really should. So... The good news is this room, this room is great. You can tell I have a lot of walking space here. Um, I'm not sure what I, what's going to happen. If I keep my sell-through rate up like it should be, then this stuff should be flipping fast enough that I never have to have, hopefully, shelves down the center or anything, even with me listing and Virginia listing. If we're flipping it to the level that I want to flip it and based on all my research that I'm putting so much time and effort into um, my stuff is flipping much much faster so if that continues to be the case then I should never need to fill up this center space um, if I do get you know an amazing buyout or something like that then I am open to junking up this room if I have to and I will put two layers of shelves down the center um, I'm willing to do that if, if that's what it takes to work in this space. So that's the good news. Um, I'm going to let you go on this video because it's getting too long. But I will give you a little glimpse of still the bad news. So these are my basically home areas. I don't mind bringing in some things, you know, at 2 in the morning when we get back from a trip. But normally 
I don't allow any inventory or anything here. I have this all dusted and, and nice when, when you first walk in the door. Um, I don't like to be stressed with Santa, you know, who's unlisted sitting there. But for the last two months, as I've explained with my nursing career, this is how it's been. So I'm going to start on this. I have about two hours before my son comes. And then we've already decided we're going to have pizza and guacamole and some very unhealthy stuff tonight so that I can keep working for about two more hours. And then I have to figure out what to do with all the empty tubs. Um, I think I've decided to eliminate the plastic tubs from most of my inventory. Um, I will store photos, old Valentines, old ephemera in those tubs because based on um, Dom's um, experience, he's a YouTuber who had a big flood in his house and he lost a lot of comic books and stuff. So anything valuable um, that is also could be very damaged if it got wet I will store in tubs but they're too heavy they don't condense when you don't need them and on the other hand I have probably about 30 or 40 Ikea bags here that I've eliminated temporarily and look how nice those are those are not in my way and they're not taking up space so I think they're just it just gives me a lot more flexibility with my inventory by using um, the Ikea bags and if you don't know they're like a dollar fifty at Ikea so don't order them online unless you really Really live in the boonies like I do try to go to Ikea and just buy 20 of them if you can it's really the better deal okay guys so I do got to go sorry to still not be that organized with my videos but I just wanted to show you the progress um, very very happy I feel like I know where absolutely everything is believe it or not I did know before I knew where everything was but this is a much nicer uh, thing to walk into in the morning and I will hopefully have one or two more rooms to brag about tonight but I'm not even sure I'm gonna get that far have a great day guys see you tomorrow